Uh, welcome back everyone. Uh, now let's talk about another important thing is the getters and setters on an object. So let's create, uh, I have created the object and I initialized one property. Okay. So in ES5, we have these methods getters and setters, which I can use to set and get the property. So it can be set message. set message and I can pass the message here and what I can do is I can update this message property okay and similarly I, I have the get property for the message and now what it will do it will just return this message property right so this is how uh, it works. Uh, so whenever you do object dot message, whenever you do object dot message, what it will do? It is actually going to call the set methods and it will initialize it will update your underscore message property and you can just whenever you do object dot message it is actually trying you are trying to get you are trying to do call the get method so it will return you that message right so this is the um, another important aspect on the object that in our object you can have a getter setter properties and you can assign get and get the values from there like this so i have two properties name and message and i'm calling the setter property on this object and setter I'm just passing the new age so here I'm just checking if the new age is of type number otherwise I'm just assigning the value and then while getting the age I'm just printing the name and age and getting it right so this this is how we do the getters and setters on to the object and we can just create these set and get functions inside as an object property right so set and get to uh, be created something like this okay same example like person here i have a first name and last name property i can i can create a new property having name as a full name right so full name is actually concatenation of first name and last name so person dot full name i can directly assign right so when you do when you do the person dot first uh, full name it is actually splitting that uh, string and assigning the first name and last name indirectly right so when you call this method you will get the first name and last name right so this is the power of an object you can have a getter and setter property and you can just assign some third variables which is in result of the first and second variables defined in the object right but how to do it in the right way is this this is how we do it in the right way this is the person object i have first name and last name i can define a new property on the person object which is a full name and i can define and getters and setters methods uh, for the full name property till now what we were doing we were, we were doing it something differently it's a, it's a same right but it's the right way object or define property define property is a method to add a new property on an object so i'm adding full name you know, a property onto the person object and what the full name is whenever you do the person dot full name what it will do it will actually concat the first name and last name by calling the get method whenever you do the set uh, person dot full name equal to something then it will be calling the set method right, so this is another important uh, search uh, how we do the getters and setters method and this is how you, there are different methods object dot define property object dot define properties to add a new properties to the object so i'm adding a full name property with two methods so whenever you do the person dot full name whenever we do the person dot full name uh, it will call right so it is actually calling this and here you can just do a console dot log
person dot first name right so i got hello right this is how we are dealing with object getters and setters property and this is being used at multiple places the advantage of this method is you can do the change detections on the on an object so this is a person is an object right and i i can be notified whenever you are changing the property of first name and last name onto the object so you are actually creating the watch it's like object dot observe some property 